Hey, what's happening again? One Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I have a product review courtesy of Gondias, and the one I have in front of you is known as the Hermes E2 7 color mechanical gaming keyboard. Now, to provide two pieces of quick information first off, this review is not sponsored, and second, some background information about Gondias, which I have been reviewing products for for the past few years. They are a company that makes a lot of high end gaming pretty much accessories, anything from gaming keyboards, gaming mouses, and even headsets, and most of which I've always been impressed with, and I haven't found one back product yet. And of course, they even make some really good mouse mats. If you're looking for something with a little bit of control, definitely see my last video on that. But like I said, this time they sent me a keyboard, and based on information I was able to find ahead of time, because this one's a lot different compared to the other ones, this keyboard is actually the cheapest option that they have on their site, and because it's the cheapest option, it also is the one with less features, which we'll get into in just a moment. But again, this is what the box will look like, so you know, and if, as far as presentation goes, they never cheap out on that, with some nice designs over there on the bottom. And of course, you flip it on over the back, for some more product information. But we're not here to look at the box, we are here to look at the keyboard. So let me go ahead and bring that on over for you guys. So here is the keyboard already plugged in and ready to go. Let me go ahead and put the feet back in so we can lay it more flat for you guys. Uh, overall, this keyboard is actually pretty lightweight compared to some of the other options here. You can see the logo for the Hermes E27 color there. And of course you can see the different colors here, which I'll change it up during post-production so you have a better look at it. Um, overall, the keyboard actually feels good and this is a mechanical keyboard, so you're gonna get that nice mechanical sound. So I'll kind of give you guys an example here. And overall, the clickiness of it actually sounds really good. I'm a big fan of mechanical keyboards, so just anytime you just hear the keyboards go off, just and it just has that really nice sound feeling to it. But if you happen to be sitting next to someone who doesn't like mechanical keyboards, it might not be something that you might want to use with them. So obviously what makes this one different compared to some of the other options? And as a quick comparison, I have one other one right next to me, uh, which is the Hermes P1 RGB, which is one of their more expensive options. And of course I don't have the uh, wrist strap right on this, just so you have a size example here. So as you can see, one of the big changes here is that, of course, you don't have that number pad over here on the right hand side. And of course, the other big difference between these two besides features is that this one's pretty heavy and this one's definitely on the lightweight. And of course, the other difference too is as far as its cables go, uh, for example, this one right here that I'm reviewing, this one actually just has a standard cable. This is actually not a braided cable. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, again, I know this is the cheapest option, but it would still have been nice to see a braided cable rather than regular, because especially if it's something you take on the go, and let's say you wrap your cable around, then of course a braided cable is gonna be much more hefty duty, and it's something that's going to last a lot longer compared to something like this. However, if you're not taking it on the go and it's just gonna stay on your desk, then technically it's no big deal overall. And of course, the other main thing is as far as its features go, the more higher end ones has many different features. Plus one of the biggest ones, especially when you get something with like chroma features to it, is the fact that you could kind of change the lighting around for different effects. This one doesn't really have many lighting effects. The lighting options that you have here are the following. For example, if you press in the FN key, you have, of course, your brightness settings over here. So of course, you could dim this down a bit to where it's off. And there's about six different modes. And uh, of course, over to the brightness. If you uh, press FN, there's an option here for the INS. If you select that, this will actually go into a breathing option. And it's by default, you can't change the overall speed or color options, because again, you don't have that functionality. And of course, you're gonna notice that the game icon is actually a let, indicating that's in game mode or not. So you press FN, you can click that and announce. Now by pressing this again, actually no, by pressing FN and delete, this will go back to its default state. And by pressing FN and delete again, the light up feature will actually go off, unless of course you're in game mode. And that's really about it for its lighting. 
Now, as far as its overall case goes, uh, there is a type of aluminum finish here. And again, it's not as hefty duty as the one that I previously showed you. It's more of a thin layer, but still gives it that nice sleek overall design, which I could definitely appreciate. Now, of course, we flip it on over the back here. You're gonna notice that, of course, we have our feet that we can lift this up, which these definitely provide really good grip. So depending on your table surface this will be able to grip the table a lot better of course not this table here because this one just doesn't really have much to grip onto and of course you also have three rubberized feet over here on the very front providing you all the best conference that you need flip this on over and of course when you have the feet down you only have one adjustment so it gives you that enough slant so you could easily have your hands here and focus on your gaming and of course depending on what mouse mat you have like the one that previously launched for the full mouse mat you could easily have your keyboard and mouse off to the side and basically have plenty of room to move around with with no issues now as far as gaming performance go it definitely worked out like any other keyboard that you expect because it's a mechanical keyboard you have a little bit more precision compared to a standard membrane keyboard but like I said, overall it's very comfortable, it sounds great. Like I said, because it's the cheapest option, there's a reason why you don't have many of the features that some of the higher ones. But then again, it kind of makes sense because you know someone may be interested in their products and they just can't afford you know a $100 keyboard or a $150 keyboard. And something like this, which I believe is sitting around $60 to $70, is something that's a lot more affordable to the most average consumers. But overall, like I said, this is a product that I could definitely recommend if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive keyboard, but one that's also uh, built tough as well. Uh, or of course, like I said, they have plenty of other options that you could check out. But overall, I'll give this one a four out of five. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.